plans we, this seems to always happen. Yeah. Even yeah. at Sagas, it'll happen too. <laughs> well, they both make it pretty far. They're pretty good players, so yeah. not that much of a surprise, but it's going to be loser's quarters, and the loser gets fifth year, so I'm sure that neither of them want uh, zero prize money. Right? <laughs> I don't think fifth is getting paid out here, <clears throat> and if it is, then they want a larger cut of that prize, so we're going to see these guys fighting it out. Of course, regional pride on the line, or rather, inter- Within the region pride, they want to be ranked higher than each other on the next PR, etc. Yeah. So even though they're familiar with each other, there's still a lot on the line. Right, here we go. Four throw and K9. Sable got a lot of good punishes so far, but Hong Kong immediately answering back. Got the reverse up air, but not able to follow up with the back air. K9 answering back with that up smash. All right. That reverse up air, such a sneaky hitbox. Yeah. It will follow up with a lot of stuff, so I can see why Kong Kong goes for it. The up smash kills mm. on the side, catches that landing. I think a lot more Sheiks need to be doing that. The dashing side hit of up smash, it's a lot stronger than you would think. Can actually get some kills around that 120, 130 range. Mm -hmm. Ooh, great pivot grab from Kong Kong, though. Able to get a little bit of control here. Let's see what he picks up at the ledge, but just immediately answering for air, but Kong Kong reverses it again with that up B. Taking well, that stock right there. Said, just do it. <laughs> There's, there was no rhyme or reason to that upbeat. It's like, Sheik is comboing me, but I feel like he's going to slip up and hesitate here. Sure enough, K9 gave him that opportunity. Now Konkan's back in the fight, but it's still not looking great for him. Uh, Konkan trying to catch a roll or something, just dashing past him in the shield. It's not quite happening. K9 trying to get that bouncing fish. No! Platform shenanigans. That's always when I'm most scared on this stage. He was... Able to get that back air out to have less landing, like just in time. I thought he was going to get the sloppy bouncing fish landing, and then we could have seen Kong Kong do some nasty stuff. Get that grab. Let's see what he does. Just fair. Take him off stage. Get that control. Let's see what it works with. Okay, K9 not going to swing on that down B at all. Do you have a good amount of time to end to just try to hit Luigi away again? Although, of course, during the move, you want to stay as far away from him as possible. Yeah. Air, take him off stage again. No jump from Kong Kong. This is pretty bad. All right, and he's probably not going to make a back. Oh, he's back, baby. I'm a liar, everybody. Wow, great match from Kong Kong. All right, those safe retreating fares from K9. Just letting the platform do the work and bring Kong Kong right to him. Unfortunately, it's going to get him back aired. And now still could pull this off with a Shoryu or maybe a ridiculous combo out of a grab into a good read. Oh, I'm trying to get that up smash. That would have been a great anti-air option, but just not going to be able to cut it quite yet. Like that, needle charge to bait out the shield. Goes right into the grab. K9 still holding it down here, but of course, Rage Luigi is absolutely terrifying. He's about 10, 15% and a good up smash away from dropping this. See, K9 can try to catch a landing or just some kind of hit on the ledge to be able to try to take a stock. I mean, he's reasonably high percent, but still, K9 with these straight hits, not able to find anything so far. And even just a fair near the corner will be enough to take out Kon Kon, but it's a matter of landing that hit. He's playing so defensively right now. He's kind of turtling shield, that super quick jab. Let's see how he makes it back to the stage of King Iron. Is he able to get that fair? He is not. Doesn't go for anything, actually. A little bit hesitant on his edge guarding abilities. Kon Kon with some zen like patience there. Just waiting out all of Con or, uh, K9's hitboxes oh, off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> every time every time my breath just stops. Oh! And that's going to do it. A forward tilt. Recognizing that Kong Kong was going to cut the jab short in the interest of safety. But of course, still jab two, not safe on block. Going to clean that one up. And man, this face from K9 just stone cold serious. He's in the zone right now. But yeah, every time <laughs> Luigi just up bees and is not e an immediate snap, I always have mm -hmm. my heart stop a little bit, <laughs> thinking, oh my god, is this actually going to be it? He gets pretty poor drift off of that, too. Yeah. Uh, at the start, at least, he can kind of find his footing toward the end or, or drift a good amount. But still, <laughs> I agree, it is very nerve-wracking. Luigi's horizontal recovery, man, without uh, a misfire or really good mashing is super sus. Yeah. Okay. Trying to bring it back into neutral, getting these nair or fares and then breaking that combo with that nair. Kind yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Able to follow up just a little bit more. It was crazy to see K9 actually just sink to the floor so quickly because of Sheik's fast falling speed or her fall speed. Uh, and then 
able to break a Luigi low percent combo with her jab. Yeah. Normally the fastballers get absolutely cleaned up by Luigi, starting at zero. Kong Kong trying to bait out something, but K9 actually there first with that off smash, able to catch that air dodge. It's the second time in a row we've seen the first stock go to the up smash now. And yeah, K9 going right over the fireball. And into an up smash. Yeah, up smash of his own, able to catch that anti-air. Keeping things even right now. This is losing quarter, so it is two out of three. So K9 could end it all right here. Not without Kong Kong having to say something with that combo. That happened once again where Sheik just sunk to the ground and was able to interrupt Luigi's combo with jab. It looks like Bear's not safe on hit against her at that low percent. Oh, I like that attempt from Kong Kong trying to throw the down B out, noticing that K9 would have to go down after he threw out the bouncing fist just like that, Man, and that's he it. he used his jump. No, why he's back, baby. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I, I should stop calling it when people are dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was super low. I've seen some stuff when it comes to Sheik up B getting back from the depths of hell, but that's the first real surprise I've had in a good year or two of Smash 4. <laughs> All righty. The jabs take him off stage, or excuse me, get a little bit of control, but can I get that grab? It means our answer back. Check chase? No, not gonna find that up B, but still landing with the Nair. Keeping things even here. Alright, intense situation. Oh my god, he waited so long to do the second kick of Bouncing Fish that actually killed him. <laughs> Alright then, so we're going to game three all of a sudden, and <laughs> that, happen that, that happened. Right there. All right. Well, a lot of surprises so far in the set. It's definitely intense. And these two, two of the most intense, most emotional, like not in, not in a bad way, you know, but they really wear their hearts on their sleeves when it comes to Smash. Uh, electrifying types of players, right? And yeah. Love seeing, like, even just one player of that type in a set. But when they're going up against each other, you know there's so much on the line. Like, there's, yeah. there's a high chance of some salt after this set, no matter who wins. Yeah. It is pretty interesting to see, though, that both of these still... Calm and collected until the last game. Yeah. Oh, yep. that could have been really bad. That down throw could have lead to a dared cyclone, but Kong Kong not quite going for it there. Oh, the weak dare. And smart by Kong Kong, recognizing that the last few times he hit Sheik with something weak at the low percent range, he was getting interrupted on hit, so he just didn't swing a second aerial, waited, and then got the jab mix up. Oh, the little things, man. Yeah. Rising there, then wasn't able to find anything, but still interrupted that combo. The back hit of the up tilt working for Sheik, but still that Nair. Back and forth motions right now as these reversals on these advantage positions just keep coming through. You see that double power shield by K9? Oh! <laughs> Whoa. What is happening, man? Yeah, K9 trying to go for the play again, but not able to find it. Let's see what K9 does here. Down tilt. Not going to find anything off him. He's got the ledge control, and he's going to go for the Nair that time. I like that. Not going for the greedy up smash charge on the ground. One, he's already done it a couple times. And two, Luigi's so floaty and has such great quick aerials that it's not exactly the follow-up you want to go for. Yeah. Oh, wow, the jab. jab out of the jump. That was sick. Oh, that's a ledge grab from K9. But I like that using the hitbox to come out and get oh. something, but down smash at the ledge. Yep. Too quick to throw that bouncing fish out. He read the regular getup, but of course you have to be very tight with your inputs on that. It's not a very forgiving window to punish. Oh, but just a quick bouncing fish. Actually able to take the stock there. Kai Kong Kong throwing out a couple of hitboxes. Here we go. Keeps it simple with the down throw to up smash. Again, cognizant of K9's ability to break some of these low percent combos. Trying to go in there. Not going to get it. K9 SD, I think he thought he had gotten to the edge of the stage.